Hello everybody and welcome to our daily devotional time together. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries here at St. John's United Methodist Church and welcome to our daily devotional time together. This is our point midday where we get to pause together as a community of faith and share in the upper room at daily devotional together with prayer, scripture, and reflection. So if you're joining me now live or a little bit later on in the day, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below, we would just like to know who popped by and welcome. Today is Thursday, April 11th, 2024. I hope everybody is having a good start to their Thursday. It's a little windy out there today, I discovered. I had to step out a little bit ago and it was a lot windier than what I thought. But anyways, we're above freezing, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, today we are in the book of Luke, so if anybody would like to follow along, we will be in the book of Luke. If not, feel free just to listen along. But Luke chapter 11 is where we will be at for today. Woke up with like allergies this morning, so if my eye, I think my eyes look a little watery right now. So if so, that's why I'm just on the struggle bus with allergies today. It's no fun. Hopefully I'll get over it soon. I've taken some stuff for it, but yeah. <coughs> Tis the season. Good morning, Stacy. It's good to see you this morning. Welcome. Give everybody another minute or two to hop on, and then we will begin. But once again, we will be in the book of Luke. Good morning, Barbara. Good to see you today. Okay. Let us begin. So we'll be in the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 1 through 13. And I will be reading out of the New Revised Standard Version, updated edition. And this is our scripture for today. He was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. So he said to them, When you pray, say, Father, may your name be revered as holy. May your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us, and do not bring us to the time of trial. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived, and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children are in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not give up and give him anything out of friendship, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who has received, and everyone who searches, finds. For everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, give a snake instead of a fish? Or if a child asks for an egg, you would give a scorpion. If you, then who are evil, know how to give the good gifts to your children, and how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to ask those of him? And our focus verse for today comes from James chapter 1, verses 17 of the NIV, which reads, Every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of the heavenly light, who does not change his shifting shadows. Our devotion today comes from Roland Rink of South Africa, and these are the thoughts that they are sharing with us today. Small gifts. When I retired four years ago, I was given a small, round, hand-sewn cushion. I keep it on a chair, mainly for ornamental reasons. However, recently, the cushion has become useful for me every day. For the past two months, I've been recovering from spinal decompression surgery. Sleep has been difficult due to the uncomfortable surgical wound in my lower back. When I was urged by my psychotherapist to place a pillow or cushion between my knees while sleeping, I suddenly remembered the gift of the small cushion and began using it as prescribed. Imagine, to my delight, to, to find that the cushion helped me sleep virtually pain-free. Our loving God gives us gifts each day. 
Yes, we often don't even recognize, let, let alone us. But the Bible is filled with accounts of our caring God providing gifts to so many people. The best example being the gift of God's Son, Jesus Christ. The gift of a small cushion has reawakened my discovery of the big and small gifts God gives us each and every day. Our thought for today is what gifts has God provided for me today? And our prayer focus today is those recovering from surgery. We have little small gifts all around us. Um, it can often be easy to, I don't want to say take for granted, but overlook um, the abundance that we have in our lives. We not take it for granted, but we can just overlook it. Um, there's just so many things that, you know, within my own life that, you know, I take for granted and everything. Um, my husband, I definitely for sure 100% take him for granted. Uh, we've been married for almost 13 years and we just have such a good rhythm to one another and everything that I often just take it for granted and everything. And I forget that, you know, not a lot of people or not everybody have, you know, what we have and everything. And I'm not saying that to brag or anything, but we just, we work really well together and I take that for granted. And yesterday we had to take um, Cooper for his annual kidney visit, nephrology um, and everything. And that's just a stressful day. Um, it's a stressful day personally for me because I just, it brings up a lot of bad memories of the past. It's stressful for our son Cooper because he's remembering some of the memories from the past and everything. And he doesn't like going to those appointments and everything. And, you know, my husband saw how much I was struggling and anxious with, you know, that and everything. And he took the day off from work. He didn't have to, but he just, he saw me and he knew that I was struggling and he wanted to be there. He wanted to be, you know, that that ability to be supportive and everything. Um, and just having his presence there was calming. It was nice that he was able to focus on our son and on his needs um, and everything, you know, like making, I mean, I packed all the snacks and all the toys and everything, but making sure, you know, like the snacks were opened and that, you know, the tablet was working and everything. And I was able to focus on, you know, having conversations with the doctors and everything and making sure that, you know, I was getting the information that I needed regarding that appointment and everything. And it was just, it was such a gift to have him there yesterday. Like everything just flowed so much smoother having him there. Um, I could have done the appointment on my own. I've done a million of these on my own um, and everything, but just because I can't do them alone doesn't mean I should. And it was just so nice having him there yesterday. And that was a gift that I so often overlook is just the ability to have, you know, his calming presence there. And, you know, if anybody knows my husband, um, he is, you know, a stand-up comedian, I think, at heart. <laughs> and so he was cracking jokes and everything as we were driving there, as we were there and everything, which just helped lighten the mood because I would have most certainly had it probably more of a somber mood if I was there by myself. But he was there cracking jokes, helping lighten the mood and everything. And that was a gift. And, you know, when people are facing, you know, whatever their struggles, be it in life, whether it be medical struggles or um, personal struggles or financial, emotional, um, mental, just having something there, those little, you know, gifts that God has provided you of, you know, people. It could be an actual object like in our um, story today and everything or our devotion today. I'm thinking of the people that are, you know, just sprinkled within our lives and everything that, you know, have that, you know, previous experience, that previous knowledge that they can, you know, empathize with us and they can understand where we're at and they can just provide that support. Sometimes just having just that support, just somebody to listen to you so that you know that, you know, what I'm going through in life, I'm not alone, can make all the difference in the world. Um, so oftentimes, especially with my husband, you know, I'll just, you know, I just need to talk. I just need to say it. And he'll ask, do you want comfort or do you want support? And I'm like, I just want comfort. I just want comfort or sorry. Do you want comfort or do you want advice is what he'll say. Very rarely do I pick advice. I'm always like, I just want comfort. I just want somebody to say what I need to say to and everything. And yesterday me, you know, having said all of my things and everything, he decided that he needed to be there with us, which I'm glad that he was and everything. So 
Yeah, just think about today. What are some gifts, some people that are within your lives that um, God has given you? So let us pray. Dear loving God, thank you for the gift of Jesus Christ and the many gifts you provide us each and every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, good morning, Barb and Chris Mueller. It's good to see you. Good morning, Jack Dunbar. And good morning, Linda. It's good to see all of you today. A quick little update on Sunday. Um, we will be having donuts. Um, I forgot to announce that last week, but we will be having donuts um, on Sunday. Um, I know it's the second Sunday of the month. Normally we do some donuts on the third Sunday of the month, but the youth cook for neighbor to neighbor on the third Monday of the month. And this month, the third Monday of the month ends up being with the second Sunday of the month. So it's confusing. Just know that donuts will be there on Sunday. So <laughs> that's the moral of this weird, complicated story is there will be donuts on Sunday. So make sure to come hungry for that. Um, I hope everybody has a great rest of their Thursday and I will see you all again here later. Take such good care. Bye-bye.